Hi, my name is Dave Whiteley. I'm Technical Director of Envisage UK Limited, and I'd like to take this opportunity to run through an event simulation within Fusion 360 Ultimate. This is going to be the um, simulation of a rupture disc. Now, these are typically used in the petrochem industry, and the idea is that they're designed to fail at a particular line pressure. So I'm going to take um, a model that I've uh, produced in Fusion, apply a pressure to the rupture disc, and we'll see what happens uh, as the pressure increases. So here's my rupture disc. They're typically domed. I've done. I've modelled this one flat to um, make it uh, quicker, to be honest. But these are normally domed. Um, you can see that there are weak. There are uh, slots in the uh, rupture disc. These are um, cut in a particular depth, and this is where we obviously induce a weakness into the disc. And the idea is that this should uh, fail at a particular pressure. So if we go into uh, simulation. And we're going to choose the event simulation, um, which is uh, part of the uh, Fusion 360 Ultimate. And in here, we need to uh, apply material. I'm going to use the Fusion Nonlinear Material Library, and we'll choose um, an aluminium. Then I need to add some constraints. Let's add a fixed constraint to the edge here. And we also need to go to the simulation settings and just check what sort of event duration we're going to use. I'm going to use a millisecond here. I can increase it a little bit if I wish, but we'll run with that. I can change the results uh, outputs as well, should we wish any more, wish to uh, retrieve any more results from uh, the um, uh, different results from the output. We'll add a pressure. to this face here. Uh, I'm going to make this time dependent, uh, so it's going to be based on a curve. So from zero seconds to one millisecond, I'm going to move up to, let's do this in PSI, um, 150 PSI. OK, so we have a look at the curve. We've got um, our um, line, a graph, moving from one second to a millisecond, zero magnitude to uh, 150 psi. We can mesh it, so let's just generate the mesh. Once we've generated the mesh, we're ready to go. So um, we just need to uh, solve this. The solves for these simulations are done on the cloud. You use uh, cloud credits to uh, solve this. This will take about half an hour on the cloud. The great thing about this is I can actually um, put it up to the cloud, start it solve, do other work on my machine, go home, do whatever I want, and then when I get back onto the cloud again, the results will be there waiting for me. The pre-check's done. You, see, you can see the green tech, tick here. So all the loads and constraints that need to be added have been added. It's happy with that. So once the mission is uh, finished, we're ready to uh, um, send this to the cloud and um, start to um, uh, let the... Uh, Autodesk servers do the do the work for us. The um, event simulation is is relatively new in Fusion 360 Ultimate. Some fantastic engineers have been working on this software. It's extremely uh, user friendly. The event simulation. You don't need to worry too much about the um, mesh uh, size uh, in the uh, model. Um, especially when you've got contact faces. In the past, we've had to make the mesh elements very small for it to uh, um, work. Um, we can pretty well work with the, um, the, the default mesh that we get. This is going to take a little bit longer than I want to for this video, so I'm going to cancel the, uh, the meshing on this and go to um, a model that I've already done. So let's have a look at the uh, disk with some results. So. If we have a look at the results here, um, let's have a look at the stress. And as I move through the steps, you'll see the stress is increasing um, between the, the junction between the fixed area and the area under the pressure. And it get, eventually it will get to a point where the disc actually ruptures. And uh, it's extremely useful to actually see the, 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 the disc failing as you do, as you see here on, this, uh, on these results. We can animate this. Um, As you can see here, if I cancel this and uh, look at the 2D chart, 
you'll notice that uh, for the stress, at the point before uh, or as it starts to fail, we do get a decrease in stress as we get to the plastic um, uh, yield of the uh, material. And uh, as you can see there, we've got the, the graph of the steps against the stress in our analysis and the, const the uh, constant uh, or the failure of the ruptured disc at the, at the pressure. What you're going to do at the moment is um, look at the uh, number of steps, um, evaluate that against the uh, pressure that's applied. So we're applying 150 PSI. So we're halfway through um, at uh, 75 and a half PSI, we've got failure. Um, we're hoping at some point that um, we can get um, more information on the chart uh, about the transient uh, load that's being applied and more accurate results here. But as you can see, as a, as a, as a phase one of event simulation, this is extremely useful software. So um, the Fusion 360 Ultimate can be purchased uh, here. Uh, you, can, uh, you can contact me at this email address if you've got any questions. And uh, thank you very much for looking.